Hello everybody! It's Friday, that means it's time for another topic of the week. So, first things first on what motivates you to get a new army. Last week's topic. Um, here's what I love about the answers to last week. Normally there's some kind of like delta, or people choose on different sides. This was one of the most tilted set of responses I've seen. Almost across the board, everybody said that the thing that would motivate them to get a new army wasn't rules, although some people people like having like a sort of a rules threshold. They want it to be like useful, playable, I guess, often. It's not that rules were never mentioned, but it's, it was almost never the leader. And this is like nine to one. It was out of tons of responses, right? 90%, whatever you want to say. Um, the motivating factors were almost universally the combination of the aesthetic and the narrative being able to liking the look of a thing and the story behind them which i thought was fascinating because you know one of the the interesting elements is that uh of the way games workshop does their business to talk about them specifically although obviously there's lots of companies like this they're very top down with it they start with the artists and the sculptors and that's sort of where new forces often come from and that to me says that's the right thing to do because we all just said the look and the story, the sort of feel, the aesthetic of the thing, the way it grocks and grabs you, is what motivates you to go out and buy a new force. So that was very interesting. This is also a place where I think a game like Malifaux excels really well, because it has, like, the crews are very idiosyncratic. They have their own very distinct look and silhouettes and personalities, you know, very different feels. So I feel like that's, that's one of the things that drew me to Malifaux. You look at a, a sort of crew and you kind of identify with them. There's a, there's a, you get, you like the look, you like the way they operate in that weird, dark, twisted world. So I thought that was cool. Anyway, so there you go. Very, very interesting to me to see that, that confirmation. But that leads us to this week's topic, and this one's a simple one, but it's one that follows along with the hobby topic. This is sort of a hobby-focused week for me. I spent the beginning part of the week judging the first annual PMP painting competition, and we're going to do that show tomorrow. Uh, so, I've been thinking a lot about the hobby this week. We did our, our show this week was our hobby-focused Warhammer Weekly. And one of the questions I asked Paul was, what are your favorite types of models to paint? And I thought that would be a great one for a topic, because I want to know what your favorite types of models to paint are. Um, for me, as I said during the show, um, I think I like, I like things with, there are two, there are two sorts of things I like. They don't necessarily gonna. They don't necessarily have to be together, although they sadly probably often are. Um, the first is I like female models better than male models. I just like things that have a more curved, interesting form rather than rectangles, which is what most male models are—just big giant blocks. Um, and the second thing is I like flesh, like exposed flesh, like because it's fun to sit there and blend and try to paint and accurately capture flesh. Now. It's easy to then put together, uh, da, 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 da. that's not what I mean. I'm not looking to suddenly paint armies of bikini-clad chicks. That's not the point of this discussion. Um, in fact, I actually rather prefer, ba like, I've painted a whole giant army of nearly, uh, of, of, like, you know, sort of uh, loincloth-wearing giants that are all dudes. They don't make a lot of female giants, sadly. Um, but those are great. Because then they're more hunched and weird. They have sort of unusual, like, um, arms and, and, like, the length of them. Their proportions are different and strange in a lot of cases. I enjoy that. Um, because then it lets you play around in different spaces. Um, like, weird alien flesh. Like, this was a big thing behind Zinch. Being able to do, like, a lot of weird... Like, the Zangor were fun in that regard, where you had, like, more blue flesh. Um, doing like all the, the weird giants that have blue skin, cloud giants or frost giants or something. I find that kind of stuff really compelling. Trying to make alternate color schemes look like flesh. Very red flesh. Very blue flesh, right? Very green flesh. Um, some of this new Sylvaneth I really enjoyed with that. Like the tree revenants where they have, you know, they're sort of partially human and partially trees. So those are my kind of picks. Um, I think I don't as much enjoy, like, extremely segmented, fully power-armored people. Maybe that's why I've never loved Space Marines very much. Um, but this comes up with, like, a lot of Infinity models have this aesthetic. You know, my army in Infinity, when I when I played and collected, was, was 
um, hack Islam, the hackies, and you know they tend to be not super like that. They have a much more realistic, almost flak jacket looking armor, um, which I found more visually compelling. So, but I mean, there are a lot of people who really love that infinity style, you know, of like hard angular armor plates, you know, maybe like the Tau look in 40k or something like that. Um, but what do you like? What are your favorite models to paint? Do you like bloody, gory stuff, you know, like your, your corn type models or just beast men who are ripping people apart or ghouls and stuff like that? Do you like dead things and zombies where you're Nurgle, where you can be all messy and gross? Um, do you like big, bright, shining knights, you know, that like resplendent with all sorts of metal and uh, tabards and banners? What's your thing? What if you had your druthers, what are your things that get the gas in your hobby engine to get painting? So there you go. That's the topic for this week. As always, look forward to your responses. Drop them in the comments down below. If you make a video response, post that link, and I'll put it up in the description so you can always come back to this video and see all of those. But as always, appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time.